What is up everybody? This is Andre and I'm gonna show you how to set up your OneSignal Pro plugin on Bubble, the plugin that I made. And I'm gonna start with um, OneSignal.com, how you set up your um, app and then we're gonna go forward because this is it's gonna be a very long tutorial uh, so I'm gonna break it in maybe three parts. So let's get started. Here you have to type in your information about your website, how it's gonna call. So right here is going to be OS Pro Tut from tutorial. Default organization and here is a uh, web push. Of course we can go uh, back and set up Apple and or Android as you wish. But for now we're going to start with uh, web. Wait a sec to load. Right, very important is to go here on the middle, add WordPress plugin or website builder, select Bubble, that's rel relatively new. Now here at the site name you can just uh, name it, whatever you want, so again it's gonna be, um, hold on, OS Pro 2. And here I'm gonna paste the, the app name, because you know the app name is your app name dot bubbleapps.io and we're gonna put a HTTPS in front of it. Cool. We will leave this on. You can change the icon with your app logo if you want to. And very important is to check this. My site is not fully HTTPS. Here you can uh, put whatever you want. It's gonna be the um, pop-up that the users will see when they want to subscribe to push notifications uh, on your website. So I'm gonna put the same OS Pro Tut. And because we don't have fully HTTPS, we need beside the site prompt to to make an additional prompt. We just hit done. And very important here, I'm gonna do that slower. Here on the site prompt we will have to keep this uh, auto prompt for, for now. I'm going to update the, uh, the plugin in the future so you can trigger the um, prompt whenever you want. But for now, it's uh, on auto prompt. And we want to show this on zero pages view and zero seconds. So the first time that the user is going to come on the website, um, he or she is going to be prompted to sign up for, for the notifications. Click done. You can leave the rest uh, as it is. Here you can customize it if you want to and click save. All right, now all this information you, you're gonna find it later, but you, you can just copy here this um, app ID, go to your uh, bubble page, go to plugin and search for one signal in one word one signal and then pro plugin but uh, I'm just gonna type in one signal and Safari doesn't like bubble that much or bubble doesn't like Safari that much I'm not sure why All right, so because I have a problem, I mean, I think Bubble has a problem with Safari and Safari has a problem with uh, Bubble. Either way, uh, it doesn't work, so I'm gonna use Chrome for my uh, Bubble app. I'm gonna just copy this, app ID, and I'm gonna go to Chrome, I'm gonna go to Plugins, Add Plugin, and here you have to search for one signal Pro Plugin. One signal is in one word, this one, okay, made by two bits. Um, I see it here, the, the first item, because uh, I've already added the <coughs> sorry this OS Pro 2 in the plugin, so I can simply install it without um, having to buy it or subscribe to it, see, because you can buy it at $75 or uh, $7 per month. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna paste the app ID here. Let's check it if it's correct, okay, it starts with EEC and ends in 16D. That's it, okay. <clears throat> then we need the HTTP 
os.tc. This is the, the one that I told you that you can customize, you can put whatever you want. So I'm going to put OS Pro Tut that I've used uh, previously. <clears throat> and now let's go back. <clears throat> Hit here, finish. And now we can go to Apple Safari. We're going to paste again HTTP colon slash slash. Sorry, it's not this one, it's this one here. Dot bubble <coughs> apps dot io. Select web push, and here we have uh, the Safari web ID. We're gonna copy this, make sure you copy it uh, the whole thing. All right, I'm gonna go back here, check if it begin, begins with web and it's a good paste. Okay, now we're gonna go here, save, leave the setup, it's fine. Now I'm gonna go to keys and IDs, and here you have your REST RESTful API key. We're gonna copy this, double click select it all, copy, and go to Chrome. And here for the authorization, we need to type in basic with a capital B, basic, put a space here and then paste the code. So we're going to have basic, a blank space and then the key. Now for the rest, we just simply copy and paste this here, here, here and here. And now this one here, because the first one is for uh, live, for production, and the, the other one is for uh, development. Now it's easy because we can simply copy and paste it. And that's it. Now we've configured um, one signal app and the plugin in Bubble. We can simply test it out now. We will gonna do that on the next video.